Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right. Let's just start off. Shut up. Good day. All right. Here we go. Everybody start warming up. We're going to start jogging. Get a nice jog going. I want you guys to breathe as we go in your nose, out of your mouth. Looking good, guys, looking good. I'm seeing some yellow belts on here, looking sharp, looking sharp, very nice. Very good, awesome. Now, back kicks, kick your feet back. Very good. I've got some good stuff in store for you guys today. All right. Make sure you're breathing in your nose, out of your mouth. Now, high knees, pick your knees up high. Very good, very good. Awesome, you guys are doing great. You're doing great, keep breathing, keep breathing. Good, now, switching your feet back and forth, back and forth. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Looking good. Good. Now, jumping jacks. Don't hit the ceiling, Mr. Terry. <laughs> Looking good, guys. Looking good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one good job good job good job all right we've got one more here one second one second one second got one more person here Okay, I guess we can't get them on. That's okay, we'll keep going here. Okay, here we go. So I hope everyone kind of got their blood flowing a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do a lot of stretching today as we go throughout this class, okay? Because we wanna get our hips really loosened up and get those muscles and, and ligaments and everything loosened up. So everybody just kind of let your legs go out. Nice and wide, take a deep breath, put your hands on the ground and exhale. And just kind of let those legs slide out. Just gonna hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Relax. All right, knees together, knees together. All right, put one foot up in front, one hand on each side of that front leg, and we're just gonna slide that, walk that back leg back, slide it back, and work on this front split. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Switch sides. Here we go. All right. Walk it out. Slide that foot back. Walk it back. Walk it back. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we're going to start off today. We're going to jump right into our sparring sets. Okay. We're jumping right into our sparring sets because today we're going to learn sparring set number three. So let's start off with the first two sparring sets. Okay. So sparring set number one, if you remember, we're sideways, 
Our hands are back, sparring set number one. We're going to block the punch with our right hand. We back fist with the left hand, lean back and side kick right to the stomach, get away and yell. Now make sure that you really are getting a good chamber with that side kick and really putting the knife edge heel into the target, okay? So here we go. If you're comfortable with these already, uh, when I want you to uh, be prepared and go full speed as we go. Full power, full speed, okay? So here we go. I'm going to be your partner. So, Junye, Chumbi, sparring set number one. Begin. Everybody jump back and yell. Yeah. Good. So when I punch, you're going to block with this hand. Back fist with your left hand right here. And then lean back, side kick with your left leg into my stomach. Boom, good, and get away. Now, I wanna to talk to you guys about the best way to get away. So when we stay sideways, we're protecting this center line. We don't want the, uh, the opponent or the uh, attacker to be able to have access to this center line. So we stay nice and sideways. But if we throw the back fist and we sidekick and we step down like this to get away, did you see all that open real estate right there? All that openness whenever I got away? Yeah. So we want to make sure that when we step away, after the side kick, look, I step in front and then away. You don't ever see my center line when I do it that way, okay? So make sure as we get away, as we side kick, step over and then step back, okay? So here we go. All right, hopefully we can get these guys going. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so uh, one quick thing. Let me message that your Adrian's having a little bit of difficulty. We'll make sure he gets in here. And uh, Okay, so here we go. So, sparring set number one. Chubby, ready. Sparring set number one, and begin. Yeah. Ready, and go. Block, back fist, side kick, get away and yell. Good. Now, remember, guys, I saw a couple of people. I saw a couple of people. Oh, here we go. All right. There we go. So now, hopefully, Adrian can hear me. So there we go. Awesome. So, oh, I just saw Miss Nancy. <laughs> All right, so here we go. All right, Adrian, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me now. Can you hear me, Adrian? Awesome, very cool, very cool. Okay, so now uh, I want to make sure that when you guys jump back, everybody watch. When I jump back, my right leg jumps back. So your belly button should be pointing this way. And then we're gonna block with the right hand, back fist with the left hand, and then lean back, side kick with the left leg, okay? All right, so here we go. Chubby, ready, sparring set, number one, begin. Yeah. Ready, block, back fist, side kick, get away and yell. Good, make sure you step over and away, good. Jackson, make sure that your belly is pointing this direction. Your right leg should be the one jumping back, Mr. Jackson, okay? All right? So Jackson, this side is the one that's gonna go back, okay? All right, very cool. Thumbs up, Jackson, if that made sense. All right, cool, cool. So Jackson, watch this, watch this, Jackson, watch. So my right hand parries, my right hand blocks. This side blocks. My left hand is the back fist. Good. And then my left leg is the sidekick. Yes. All right. So here we go. Sparring set number two. Sparring set number two. Ready. Sparring set number two. Ready and begin. Yeah. Good. Now, as soon as we go, you go. Step up. Round kick. Punch, punch. Get away and yell. Boom, boom. Now, if you want to throw a low high round kick, you can. Or just a double round kick. You can do that also. Okay. All right. So. This is the way I would do it. I would get back and yell, yeah, and then I would immediately step up, round kick, 
jab, cross, get away. Yeah. Okay, taking care of that center line. Now, as we do these, I want you guys to be aware of your hands. Keeping that elbow, that back elbow tucked in, that hand up here by your face, getting ready to block if it needs to, all right? And then if it punches, my other hand comes up for protection. So always making sure that our hands are correct, okay? All right, Mr. Jax, let's focus, sir. Focus, Mr. Jax, okay? All right, here we go. So sparring set number two, Chumbi, ready? And begin. Yeah, step up, round kick, punch, punch. Get away, Neil. Good. Now, same thing here. When we punch, punch, when we get away, I want to turn my center line. Boom. Whenever I get away, I don't want to get away. I don't want to throw my punch, punch, and then get away like this, okay? So make sure that center line is nice and sideways. All right. I think you guys are ready for sparring set number three. Here we go. Sparring set number three. So here's how this is going to work. So sparring set number three, I'm going to show you the basic version for those of you who are like maybe white belts, maybe yellow belts. And then I'm going to show you the little bit more advanced version. So sparring set number three simply is a step up, side kick, land, back fist, punch, ridge hand as I step around. And then one final side kick, step over, step away. Now, this one has a lot more moves than the first two sparring sets, but this one is a really good sparring set. So I wanna make sure that we have this one. So here we go. So do it with me. I'm gonna flip myself so you guys can look in the mirror. Step back, your belly should be pointing this direction. Good. Step up, side kick, back fist, punch. Now, bring this left hand out and with your right leg, step around, ridge hand. Pick up your left leg, side kick, step over, step back, guarding block. Now, what is a ridge hand? A ridge hand is when we strike with the thumb side of the hand, but we're not hitting with the thumb. We're hitting with this muscly, meaty part of the hand right here. Boom. So we're throwing that ridge hand. The elbow will be slightly bent, okay? Elbow slightly bent. Okay, so here we go. Sparring set number three. Ready? Chumbi. Ready? Step back and yell. Yeah, good. Step up. Side kick. Back fist. Punch. Bring this arm out. Step the right leg around. Ridge hand. So now we're kind of to the side of the bad guy or our opponent. Pick up the left leg. Side kick. Step over. Step back and guarding block. All right. Now, as we do these, here's the more advanced version, okay? I want you guys to jump back and yell, yeah! and I want you to start bouncing. Instead of doing a step up side kick, I want you to do a sliding side kick. So from here, watch, I'm just gonna pick up my front leg, shoo, and side kick, okay? So I'm here, my hand is up, I'm ready. Shoo, back this punch, rich hand, Side kick, get away. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do this a couple more times because it is a lot of steps. So let's make sure that we're getting it. Okay. This one's going to take some practice, guys. It's going to take a little bit of practice. So here we go. Chumbi. All right. Here we go. Step the right leg back. Yell. Yeah. Step up. Side kick. Back fist punch. This is the most difficult part. Bring this arm out. Ridge hand. Side kick, step over, step back, yell. Good. So let's look at that step real quick. So after I throw the back fist punch, watch. My back leg has to step around. Do you see how I'm facing this direction now? So my ridge hand and my leg move together. All right? It's almost like they're connected. So watch. Boom. And they land at the same time. Okay, 
So I'm here, boom, side kick, step over and yell, okay? All right, here we go. So again, this one is just like number two. I'll say, sparring set, number three, begin. You'll both step back and yell, yeah. And then you will begin. Side kick, back fist punch, ridge hand, side kick, step over and get away. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Full speed, full speed. Here we go. Full speed, full speed. Now remember, more advanced version. We step back and yell. Yeah, we start bouncing. And then we're going to throw shoom, the sliding side kick. So here we go. Ready. Chumbi, sparring set number three. Ready. Begin. Yeah, go. Side kick, back fist punch, ridge hand. Side kick, get away and yell. Good. Make sure I saw a couple people doing this. Everybody stop for just a second. I saw a couple people doing this. So the side kick looked nice. The back fist punch looked nice. The ridge hand looked nice. And then I saw a couple people do this. Step, side kick. Don't step before you throw the side kick. Just throw the side kick. So I'm here. I throw the ridge hand. Okay. I step around, throw the ridge hand. No step. I don't want to step up with my back leg. I should be in the perfect position. If I'm close enough to hit them with the ridge hand, then I'm more than close enough to hit them with a side kick, okay? So there's no need for the step. All right, so you guys practice that one. And I'll do my best to get this class uploaded tonight so that you guys will have it uh, starting tomorrow to work on it. I got Thursday's class uploaded today as well. It's on YouTube. I don't think it's on the app yet, but I'll make sure it's up as well tonight also, okay? All right, so um, I hope you guys uh, get that. And um, let's see. Um, ch -ch -ch. All right, we've got a couple of questions. Um, ba -ba -ba. All right, Mr. Jackson, I'll have to check on that, sir. And Mr. Thomas, are you asking when did I learn these specifically? Are you asking me when I learned them? So this one, I learned whenever I was training for the International Taekwondo Championship in Tampa, Florida. There were uh, competitors from all over the world, and I was on a U.S. national team of five guys. And this was one of the combinations that our national team coach taught us to compete against some of the best Taekwondo players in the world. So you know if it works well at that level, that it'll work really well for you guys too, okay? So I want you guys to practice this combination. It's a really good one, all right? Okay, so from here, now I want to get our splits again. So everybody get ready. We're gonna stretch it out, all right? Hands on the floor, let those legs slide out. Keep those legs nice and loose. Go as low as you can, make sure you're breathing. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Relax. Oh, very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Here we go. Put one leg up. Two hands, one on each side of that lead leg. All right. Now we're going to slide that back leg back. Slide it back. Good. Boom. Get it all the way back. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Other side. Here we go. One hand on each side of that lead leg. Good. Slide it back. Slide it back. Boom. Boom. Looks like we have a few of you guys working out outside. I bet it feels nice and muggy and warm and toasty. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Good job. Everybody stand up. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to a nice little double round kick uh, combination. Okay. So all we're going to do from here is we're going to step up. We're going to pick up our lead leg and we're going to throw two round kicks. One, two. Step down, step back. Okay. If you have a target, this would be a great time to kick the target. Some of you I see have like a wave master. Um, some of you might have handheld targets. Uh, and if not, just pretend like you have one, okay? 
So here we go. Pillows work excellent. Yes. All right. So here we go. If you have someone to hold for you. All right. So here we go. Hands are up. Staying sideways. And again, when we step up, make sure that when you step up, you don't expose your center line. Okay. So here we go. Stay nice and sideways. Hands are up. If you want to be bouncing and already be in your fighting motion, you can. That's not a bad idea to get in that habit. Okay. So here we go. We're going to do 10 on each leg. Hands are up. Keep your eyes on your target. And remember what we've been working on. Don't turn your shoulders. So don't step up and turn those shoulders as you kick, okay? Keep your shoulders nice and square. If you put your arms out to the side, they should stay there, boom, as you kick, okay? So here we go, hands are up. Keep that back hand up by your chin. Front hand is kind of floating out. Elbow is down in the rib cage, protecting that rib cage. Here we go, ready? And one, bow, bow. Good. Two. Bow, bow. Nice. Good job. Three. Boom, boom. Good. Nice. Four. Bow, bow. Five. Six. Bow, bow. Looking good, guys. Seven. Eight. Now, this is the same height. It's not a low height. They're both at the same height. Ready, nine, last one, best one, 10, good, other side, here we go, other side in front, back hand up, lead hand out, everybody start bouncing, ready, and go, good, two, step up, boom, boom, step down, step back, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Very nice. All right, everybody grab a quick sip of water. Catch your breath, grab a quick sip of water. Thirty seconds. You guys are doing awesome, doing awesome. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay. Everybody, I want you to put one leg out in front, both hands out to the side. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw a front kick, but I really want you guys to focus on snapping the end of the kick. I don't want you to worry about kicking high right now. All we're gonna do is kick to the mid-level, and we're gonna hammer fist to the side as we're done. So I'm going to kick, chamber, and then swing it down to the side, okay? Now watch, my kick, I want you guys to squeeze the end of this kick. So I don't want this kick to look like this. I don't want it to be a, just a quick snap and back. I want it to stick. I want you to stick it, boom, yeah. stick it, yeah. okay? So really pick it up bent, pull those toes back. Look at my foot, look at the angle of my foot right now. I want you guys to make sure that you're kicking with the ball of your foot, the ball of your foot, okay? So pull those toes back, and how you achieve that is by pointing your foot your entire foot is pointed, and then you just simply curl the toes back. Don't pull the foot back. It's not like this. It's here. Okay? So here we go. You guys can work on that foot placement at a later time. So let's make sure that we are squeezing on the end, sticking it in place for just a second, and then pulling it back 
and then cross our arms, twin hammer fist to the side. So here we go. Ready? And one, kick, kick, good. Four, make sure you cross those arms before you land and then yes, and then slam it down. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, make it stick everybody. Miss Shiley, put that kicking leg behind you, ma'am. Put your kicking leg behind. Yes. Ready? Eight. Yeah. So Miss Shiley, we're kicking with the back leg. Kick with the back leg. Ready? Nine. Yeah. Good job. Yes. Excellent. And ten. Yeah. Very nice. Everybody, jump train sides. Here we go. Other side, ready. Make sure you squeeze it. Point those, the ball of that foot, pull those toes back. Good, ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last one, best one, 10. Very good and relaxed. Now, I have a quick question for everybody. Am I the main video or I am I a little bitty video among a bunch of other little bitty videos? I'm big. You're the big one. I'm the big one. Good, good. All right, here we go. You're the big one. <laughs> good, excellent, excellent. All right, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start on, we're going to work on our forms for just a few moments. Um, not quite as long as we had the last few classes, but I do want to make sure that we hit it a little bit and uh, move on from there, okay? So um, as we go, I want you guys to uh, just make sure that you're not getting in too big of a rush, but I do want you to be working on this. Now, white belts. If you have not earned your first stripe for your form yet, and you're working on it, and you feel like you know it well, I'm gonna arrange for you to be able to show me your form, and we will work it out so that I can get a stripe on your belt, okay? So I wanna make sure that if you're uh, making that advancement that you get that, that stripe on there, because I'm still planning on getting you guys ready for June testing, okay? So I wanna make sure that we, uh, we're progressing like we should be. Sound good? Awesome. So uh, we're going to start off. I'm going to start with Chun Ji, but you guys start with your forms, okay? But for those of you who are white belts, we're going to start with Chun Ji, and uh, I'm just going to walk through it uh, each pattern at a time, okay? So everyone begin working on your form and uh, just listen for whenever I get to your form, okay? All right, ready and begin. Let's keep going. All right, so I want you guys to drop down, guess what, into splits. Here we go. I told you we we're gonna do a lot of stretching tonight. Here we go, hands on the floor, stretch it out. Walk it out, slide it out, breathe. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven. We're gonna pause for Mr. Jake. <laughs> Here we go, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Relax. Oh, uh, yes. My instructor used to always tell me it tingles, but it feels good. All right, here we go. All right, everybody put one leg in front. One leg in front. Let's get that front split going. One hand on each side. All right, here we go. Walk that back leg back. Walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. Here we go, here we go, walk it back. Now try to keep your body straight. Try to not let your body turn sideways like this. Keep those hips squared up, okay? 
Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Switch it. Other side in front. Walk it out, walk it out. Miss Shiley, you're looking good. Very nice, ma'am. Miss Ray, get that nice stretch out. Walk it out nice and long. Good job, good job. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Relax. Stand up. Terry, you were so low, I couldn't even see you, sir. You must have been in a full front split. I bet you were just like completely stretched out, full front split. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now we're going to move on. We're going to work on speed with our punches, speed punches right now. So people ask me a lot of times, how do I make my punches faster? What exercises can I do, boom, to really get my punches faster? So it's very important to understand that it's not always about making the actual motion faster as it is taking away extra motion. So we're going to throw a jab. We're going to throw 10 jabs right now. And the goal is to not bring the fist back and punch. A lot of you guys will do that. You will bring, and I'm guilty of it too, will get ready to punch and will bring it back to get more power and then punch it out. The problem with that is, What's the shortest distance between two points? A straight line. A line. Yes. So if I pull, if I pull my fist back and then out, it's taking more time. Okay. So the goal right now is to go straight from here to here, from here to here. That's it. That's all we're doing. Now we might be bouncing. We might be in motion and our hand may be moving around. But whenever we throw the punch, boom, it goes straight out, okay? So here we go. Everybody start bouncing. We're gonna do speed punches. I'm not worried about power, I'm worried about speed. Here we go, ready? Backhand is up, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Other side. Here we go. Switch hands. Switch lead hands. You got to work both sides just so that we're ready. Okay. Here we go. Hands are up. Ready. And one, two. Oh, I didn't count. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good and relax. Very good, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna do both the front and the back, okay? So jab crossed. Now here's what that looks like. The backhand is even worse. We get even more guilty about committing the same mistake with the backhand because usually the backhand is our strong hand so the backhand we usually go we almost we usually move our whole body backwards before we move forward with the punch so we'll be punching and we'll go boom boom right so i want you guys to really work on when we throw this watch jab cross very simple okay you should be able to, if someone holds their hand in front of you, and you guys can maybe practice this with your parents or a friend or a spouse, but have them hold their, their hand in front of you or hold a pillow maybe so that you don't hit their hand too hard. But practice number one, trying to just hit their hand. Boom, boom, boom. Now try hitting it with the backhand. Boom, boom, boom. And if you have a really good straight line and you're not pulling it back, it should be pretty easy to be able to tag him in the hand, okay? All right, so here we go. So we're gonna do a one-two combo. 
And this time, we're going to make sure that we really don't pull that bad can back. So we're going to go straight from here. Boom, boom. Jab cross. Okay, so here we go. Right, start bouncing. Hands are up. You guys are doing awesome, by the way. Very nice. Jade, you're doing excellent, man. Keep it up. Keep it up. Here we go. Ready. And one. Two. Three. Good job, Bell. Switch sides, Miss Bell. Switch legs. Thank you, man. Good job. Ready? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Go fast. Remember, it's all about speed. Eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Very good. Good job. All right, other side. Here we go. Ready? You guys are rocking it, by the way. You guys are amazing. Here we go. Hands are up. Get sideways. Ready? And we're going to step out. Jab, cross. No pulling it back. Ready? And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one, best one. Ten. Good. Very nice, guys. Very nice. Okay, so here we go. Take a deep breath. You guessed it. Here we go. Everybody get down. Everybody get down. All right, we're going to hold it for 25 seconds this time. So this is going to be a really good stretch, okay? I want you to really make sure you're breathing all the way through this stretch, all right? So here we go. Hands on the ground. Walk it out. Twenty-five, twenty-four. Here we go. Make sure you're breathing. If you can put your elbows down, that's awesome. Scoot it out a little bit wider, a little bit longer. Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Looking good. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Oh, that feels so good. That feels so amazing. Excellent job. All right, now, kind of work those hips back and forth a little bit. Good, 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 good. A lot of times I don't like popping up right after I do a stretch. I like to kind of give my legs a minute to recover from what we just did. All right, here we go. Put one leg out in front. One hand on each side, walk that leg back. Oh, I'm seeing some sweaty looking heads out there. Oh, very good, walk it back, walk it back, walk it back. Here we go, holding it, breathe. Walk it back a little bit more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Switch sides. Good job. Good job. You guys are awesome. Here we go. Walk it back. Walk it back. Head down. Touch your chest towards your knee. Make sure you're breathing. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pocket out a little bit more. And relax. Good job. All right, everybody, have a seat. Have a seat. Good. Bring those feet in. Good, now push those knees towards the ground. Excellent. Oh, that felt good, my hip just popped. Whew. You guys that are older will understand the beauty of a nice hip pop. Oh, that felt good. All right, now slowly start pushing those hips towards the ground. Unless you're Thomas and you're 
hips are just like crazy flexible and you're just laying your knees on the ground right now. Here we go. And Miss Shiley, look at that. That's amazing. Miss Ray, man, you guys are flexible. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Looking good, looking good. Very nice. AJ, looking sharp, sir. Very good. 10, 9, push them down lower. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Very nice. Straighten them out a little bit. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good job, everybody. Good job. Now, I want everybody to stand up slowly. Good. Awesome, awesome. You guys are rocking it out today, okay? Now, Thursday, we're going to start working on our very first self-defense technique, okay, for this uh, testing cycle and uh, get you guys going on that. Between now and then, I want you to keep working on your forms and your sparring sets, keeping them nice and sharp. And always remembering to stretch, okay? If you guys can join me, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, 6 o'clock. We uh, have a good, really good workout on Facebook. Uh, we were working out last night. Something happened to my phone if you were on last night, and it just kind of crashed on me. But um, um, I should have that fixed by tomorrow night. So I'd love to see you guys on for tomorrow for the workout. It's a good time. It's on our Facebook page. Um, but other than that, um, if you'd like, if you're a green belt through black belt, and you would like to stay on for a few moments and um, get some help with your form. And uh, Mr. Eli, I want to see your form as well. So uh, if you'd like to do that, uh, feel free to do that as well, okay? Um, you guys did an amazing job today. I hope you have a wonderful night and a great week. Be safe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Shut up. Good day.